All right, we're back and it's now time to create the legs of the design. So we're just going to go down here. Um, if you want to select the right orientation view and then just hold shift and hold middle click drag to go further down, we are going to use this plane, this one here, which is the furthest away from the center. Actually, no, we use this larger circle here, sorry, um, to as a reference point for our extrusion. So left click on that outer circle and then left click on extrude and we're now going to start creating our leg feature. So the dimensions of the leg um, do change a little but we're just going to create a perfect rectangle. So first thing to do is to start with a circle this circle is seven millimeters in diameter, just like this one here. And what we can do with that is we can actually create a concentric circle. So left click on the drop down and left click on concentric. And we're going to go to the outside of this circle here. Left click on that, and we're just going to go to the extremity until it goes green. All right. Actually, no, we're not going to do that we're going to create a center and point circle further down because we want to separate the items, the uh, features, the parts. So left click on the center line and it's not going to snap to that size but that's okay. Oh, yes it did actually. As long as you hover over the edges and then go back down it will snap green. So left click A on that and then middle click outside of that and we got our pink shape. Alright, next thing to do is to create a perfect line that goes from the outside here down. So the line from there down is 9.78 millimeters long. So I'm going to select the line tool, left click on that and we're going to go because he's facing this way currently. We're going to left click on the extremity of this circle. So left click on that and just drag straight down. And left click again. And then middle click out. Middle click again. And then we're going to change this dimension to 9.78 millimeters. So just click on that until it gives you the option to edit the dimension. There we go. 9.878 millimeters long. All right, now we're going to create the foot. So we're just going to go right round. So left click on the line tool. Now the length of the foot is seven, or oh wait, maybe not. The length of the foot is seven point six millimeters. So we're going to create a line which is seven point six millimeters from here across. So I just left click there and middle click out. Oh, I nearly got it. So I just click on that until you can edit it. We're going to change that dimension to seven point six millimeters long. Next thing to do is to go up a line, so again, using the line tool, left click, and the height of the foot is 3.2 millimeters. So you're going to go up a straight line, left, middle click out, middle click again, and we're going to change that dimension to 3.2 millimeters. 3.2 millimeters. Enter. Which is a fair way. Yep. All right, now we want to go in again using the line tool, and the distance we're going to travel in is two point one eight millimeters in. 
uh, click out of that, 2.1, we'll change that dimension to 2.18. 2.18. Left click on the line tool, and now we're going to take it home. Left click on that dimension there, and left click on the edge of the circle. So long as that line is straight, left click, middle click out, middle click again. Alright, now we're just going to double check the dimensions of this line here. And it's 4.3 millimeters long. Just making sure that is consistent with what the design tells us. And it says 5.1, so that should be approximately what we're after. Alright, now what we're going to want to do is delete this line here that's making it stopping it from becoming a whole shape these two lines there all right so we can now extrude this item so if you middle click out that should become a complete face you know by the fact that it turned pink and left click on OK and again we're going to want to change that dimension to 7.1 millimeters in width so press enter on that and then we're just going to click OK and we're just going to have a look at this see how accurate that is that is Pretty perfect. Might be extruding a slight amount out of the waste section, which is expected because it's actually supposed to be um, tapered in. So, what we can do now is again we'll use the extrusion tool. So, left click on that, and we're going to choose this face here left click on that and choose the line tool left click on that and we're going to we're going to use a construction line so left click on construction mode and create a line from here down to our object our foot and left click out of that now we're going to go out of construction mode and we're going to create a line from this corner, this top bit here where that line connects with the leg and we're going to go down to the corner of our leg. Left click out and we're actually going to take that line back up to the top here. Left click again and then connect the shape so there's a triangle and middle click out. Middle click again and now you've got a pink shape. So what we'll do now is we'll left click on OK and we want to remove material. So we'll just do um, 20 millimeters and we're going to click remove material. We're going to change the direction of the removal. There we go. And as you can see it's just cutting that foot on that angle, that leg on that angle. So we can left click out of that because we want that taper essentially. Left click out and there you go. We've got that taper now.